Can you imagine a world where the HIV virus can be eradicated from infected cells? We're not there yet, but a groundbreaking development in genetic editing might just take us closer to that goal. Let's talk about HIV first. This virus, which can progress to AIDS, has proven to be a formidable foe. Why you ask? Because it integrates into the host's DNA. This integration makes it challenging to completely get rid of the virus from infected cells. Enter CRISPR-Cas9, a precision tool for genetic editing that won the Nobel Prize. This tool has the ability to alter DNA sequences with remarkable accuracy. It can remove undesirable genes or introduce new genetic material. So what if we could use it to tackle HIV? Well, scientists are doing just that. They're leveraging CRISPR-Cas9 to develop an approach to target HIV DNA. The discovery of CRISPR-Cas9 has revolutionized gene technology, offering a beacon of hope in the fight against HIV. But first, a little background on the tool that makes it all possible. CRISPR-Cas9 CRISPR-Cas9, discovered by Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna, is a revolutionary tool that has truly transformed gene technology. Imagine a pair of molecular scissors that allows scientists to cut and paste DNA sequences with surgical precision. This is what CRISPR-Cas9 does. It enables us to remove unwanted genes or introduce new genetic material with exceptional accuracy. But how does it work? In essence, it harnesses a mechanism that bacteria use to defend against viruses. They capture snippets of the virus's genetic material and use it to recognize and destroy the virus if it attacks again. Scientists have adapted this mechanism to edit the DNA of plants, animals, and even humans. The applications of this technology are vast, from cancer therapies to the treatment of inherited disorders. This precise tool for genetic editing has opened up a world of possibilities including the potential eradication of HIV. So, how is CRISPR-Cas9 being utilized in HIV research? Let's delve into the pioneering work led by Dr. Elena Herrera Carrillo and her team at Amsterdam UMC Netherlands. Their research, recently showcased at the European Congress of Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases, represents a significant leap forward in the pursuit of an HIV cure. Dr. Herrera Carrillo and her team are harnessing the power of CRISPR-Cas technology to target HIV DNA with precision. The objective is to develop a robust and safe approach that can deactivate diverse HIV strains across various cellular environments. The ultimate goal? An inclusive HIV cure for all. Now you might wonder, what makes HIV so challenging to combat? The crux of the problem lies in the virus's ability to integrate itself into the host's DNA, thus evading the immune system's attempts to eradicate it. This integration forms what we call HIV reservoir cells, a kind of hiding place for the virus within the body. But here's where the CRISPR-Cas9 technology flexes its muscle. By precisely targeting the DNA sequences of the virus, this innovative genetic editing tool can potentially excise the virus from the host cells. It's akin to finding a needle in a haystack and then, quite literally, snipping it out. Despite the logistical challenges and the complexity of targeting dormant HIV reservoir cells, the team's innovative use of CRISPR-Cas techniques has shown promise. Their focus on targeting conserved regions of the virus genome across different strains underscores the potential for a broad-spectrum therapy against multiple HIV variants. The path to a cure is not without its hurdles, though. The team continues to grapple with optimizing delivery methods to target a wide range of HIV reservoir cells, but by combining CRISPR therapeutics with receptor-targeting agents, they are making strides towards preclinical models to assess the efficacy and safety of their combined cure strategy. Despite the challenges, the team's innovative approach shows promise in eliminating HIV from infected cells. The future of HIV research is looking bright, thanks to the transformative potential of CRISPR-Cas9 technology. It's a ray of hope, a beacon towards a future where HIV could be effectively controlled or even eradicated, and that's a future worth striving for. What does the future hold for this groundbreaking research? As we delve into the next chapter of this riveting scientific journey, the team led by Dr. Elena Herrera Carrillo is shifting gears towards refining the delivery methods of their HIV cure strategy. They aim to optimize the process to target a broader range of HIV reservoir cells, thereby increasing the overall effectiveness and reach of the treatment. Their innovative approach marries the precision of CRISPR therapeutics with the specificity of receptor targeting agents. 
This combination of techniques is expected to enhance the ability of the treatment to seek out and eliminate HIV DNA, even in the most elusive reservoir cells. The team is now on the cusp of transitioning to preclinical models, a critical step towards assessing the safety and efficacy of their combined cure strategy. But what does this mean for the broader landscape of HIV research and treatment? The implications are profound. The team's focus on conserved regions of the virus genome across different strains heralds the potential for a broad-spectrum therapy. In layman's terms, we're looking at a potential game-changer, a single comprehensive treatment that can tackle multiple variants of HIV. This approach also signals a significant shift away from the traditional method of managing HIV as a chronic condition. Instead, we are inching towards a world where HIV can be effectively controlled, or better yet, fully eradicated. Imagine a future where an HIV diagnosis no longer equates to a lifetime of medication and health challenges, but instead, a curable condition. However, it's important to approach these promising developments with a healthy dose of realism. As the researchers themselves emphasize, these initial findings are the start of a journey, not the end. There is still a myriad of logistical challenges to overcome, and further research is needed before we can consider clinical trials for a functional HIV cure. While there is still much work to be done, the potential for a future where HIV can be effectively controlled or even eradicated is becoming more tangible. As we look ahead, we can't help but feel a sense of hope and anticipation. The journey towards an HIV-free future continues, driven by the relentless pursuit of science and innovation. So, where does this leave us? We've journeyed together through the remarkable world of CRISPR-Cas9, a groundbreaking gene editing tool that's revolutionizing the landscape of genetic research. We've seen how Nobel laureates Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna discovered this precision tool, offering us a new lens to view and interact with the very building blocks of life. We've delved into the latest research led by Dr. Elena Herrera Carrillo and her team at Amsterdam UMC, who are harnessing the power of CRISPR-Cas9 to target and remove HIV DNA from infected cells. This pioneering work holds enormous promise, hinting at a future where a comprehensive HIV cure for all might just be within reach. However, the path to clinical application still requires careful navigation. It's a journey of discovery, of trial and error, and of unrelenting determination, but the potential rewards are beyond measure. Stay tuned for more developments in this exciting field of research as we continue to explore the transformative potential of CRISPR-Cas9 in the fight against HIV.